Mm -hmm. We do have a list here of some risk factors for COPD. Take a look at this. Exposure to tobacco, of course. Now, what percentage of people who have COPD smoke? You know, I hate to say this out loud. Okay, then <laughs> only whisper it. <laughs> only only 20% of smokers actually develop COPD. Really? Okay. Uh, but uh, the folks who have a diagnosis of COPD, 80% of those folks were smokers. Okay. And so cigarette smoking is clearly a risk factor. And I think the idea that we can get folks away from injuring their lung early uh, means hopefully they have not ever picked up a cigarette in the first place. Okay. Uh, so we do a large amount, uh, mostly with our kids, to make sure that they're aware uh, that smoking is, is not a behavior that they want to take up. And then people with asthma who smoke, now that just... Just, just sounds like a bad combination. It's not a good combination. And I think just having asthma alone increases mm. the chances that you'll develop COPD. And so adding a further injury by smoking just increases the chance that you'll lose a lot of lung function. Occupational exposure to dust and chemicals, we discussed that. Mm -hmm. Exposure to fumes. So yeah, there are some industries where um, vapors uh, create a, a gas that can't be seen. Mm -hmm. So we call that outdoor pollution. Oh. Uh, and those patients actually have increased risk of inflammation in the lung as well. Okay. Age and genetics. Ah, the old age and the genetics, the things you can't control at all. We all lose lung function every year, about yeah. three tablespoons a year. Uh, and, and so, uh, you know, I think as we age and get into our 80s, um, over the a few decades, you're going to lose enough lung function to qualify as having COPD. And then there are some unfortunate protein deficiencies that can lead towards increased loss of lung function.